Welcome to Rocky Broad Solar, where we encourage you to make the current flow. On today's episode, we're going to compare the EG4 18K PV and the Solark 15K. Both EG4 and Solark are heavyweight champions in the world of solar with battery backup. Both are 48 volt inverters that are common for both hybrid as in grid side and battery backup. Let's dig into it and see who comes out on top. So first up, we have the EG4 18K PV. So EG4 is a relatively new player in the solar and battery market. Uh, they were just founded in 2020 with the mission to provide affordable solar to the masses. Now, so far, they've really held up to that promise and that goal because as of now, EG4 does have some of the most affordable battery and solar products on the market with, with really great value. So next we've got Solark. Now Solark's been in the industry about 10 years now and they're a well-known and well-established company. They're really well-known for reliability and, and first-in-class technical support. Now with Solark, you know, they really went after that more prepared crowd early on and I think that's what's driven a lot of their success now they've offered one of the only EMP hardened solar systems on the market for quite some time now. And that's a kind of unique niche that, that they've carved out for their products. Now don't let the EG4 18K PV name fool you. It's a little bit misleading in my opinion. Most inverters are named on their max continuous output current. Therefore a Solark 15K has 15,000 watts of max continuous output current. That's pretty standard in the industry, um, but, but EG4, they only actually have 12,000 watts max continuous output current. So in grid type standards, this inverter should be called the EG4 12K PV. So the 18K PV name comes from the max usable PV wattage that is 18,000 watts essentially even though this inverter can only output 12,000 watts ac it can simultaneously send that other 6,000 watts to the battery bank to charge the batteries and that's where they're really coming up with that 18k pv name now uh that is higher than the max usable pv of the solar which is 15,000 watts so that's only at standard test conditions where, where a 17,000 watt array is actually going to make 17,000 watts. And that is, you know, all panels facing one direction, um, perfect sun, perfect temperatures. It's rare that that ever happens. And so, um, or, you know, maybe you have multiple different roof pitches or different facing arrays. You, know, you could easily throw in 17,000 watts or 21,000 watts and rarely, if ever, be making that much power from your PV array. So oftentimes buying extra solar panels is not that expensive um, in the long run to get that additional power during a lot of times of year where, where the sun isn't perfect. So both the Solark and the EG4 have three maximum power point trackers. They're, they're pretty similar there. Uh, for the max continuous AC output with solar, Solark has got EG4 beat. We've got 15,000 watts on the 15K and 12,000 watts on the EG4. So, you know, if you're, if you're making this a hybrid system and you have a large array, you know, 15K and above, you, you know, the, the, the Solark may be the better option because if you're going to be selling back to the grid, and you have a large array, the Solark is gonna be able to output, have an AC output discharging to the grid in the middle of the day, um, much, much higher than that 12,000 watts of the EG4. That being said, EG4 has this 15,500 watt five minute um, surge. Now that's a very strange spec to show on the data sheet, and I reached out to EG4 to verify it wasn't a misprint, they did verify that. Generally surge currents or surge wattage is rated in five seconds or 10 seconds or three seconds, not in five minutes. So it does seem kind of strange, but 
Um, based on what EG4 says, this inverter can actually put out 15,500 watts for up to five minutes, at, at which point, you know, it would drop down to that 12,000 watt mark. So both the Solark and the EG4 have a 200 amp AC grid bypass. So, you know, just feeding your, your main service panel through the inverter at 200 amps. Uh, they both have 12,000 watts max continuous AC output, no solar. So to clarify there, that is at night when the sun is not shining. So, so with solar, you're talking, you can get up to 12,000 watts from the battery bank and then, and then creep up to that 15 or, or potentially 15, five for five minutes with that additional boost of solar. So when both the sun is shining and you have the batteries discharging, you can get that max continuous AC output with solar. At night when the sun is not shining is where you're stuck with that max continuous AC output, no solar of 12,000 watts where they're, where they're even. Both products do have a 200 amp generator input and then also have options to set up for uh, smaller generators, though you would not use that, that primary generator input um, depending on the type and size of your generator. The peak output power for 10 seconds on the Solark is 24,000 watts, whereas the peak output power on the EG4 18K is 20,400 watts. So uh, Solark beats EG4 a little bit there. Now for the max AC coupled input current, that is where you have a, an existing inverter and maybe you're gonna retrofit um, a, a Solark or an EG4 18K for that battery backup capabilities. Maybe you've got microinverters or just an existing system. Um, you keep your existing inverter and you just, you, you input that output of the existing system into the AC coupled port on the inverter. With, with Solark, they've got 19,200 watts versus only 12,000 watts from EG4 18k PV. So if you've got a large existing system and you're only adding this inverter for battery backup capabilities, Solark's really got EG4 beat in that category. Uh, both inverters come with a standard 10 year warranty. And then from there, um, you know, Solark's got a lot of benefits. EG4 has got some benefits too. So, um, one, one neat thing about Solark is they just came out with their proprietary optimizers. And for me, I love just having everything under one manufacturer because when things go wrong or you need a warranty claim or whatever, it, you have one manufacturer to go to. All the products are designed to work together and, and they're all designed to be monitored together. And so you don't really run into software or firmware issues you're not worried about calling different manufacturers for different products and have one point the finger at the other. Um, I really do love having everything under one umbrella. And so uh, Solark again has these proprietary optimizers. EG4, you're gonna have to go with Tygos. Now, both of these are not going to be rapid shutdown compliant inverters without that optimizer feature or Tygo rapid shutdown. With, with EG4, you go Tygo. Now Tygo, you can choose just a rapid shutdown compliant module um, to just get you rapid shutdown compliant. Um, you can, or you can get the optimized um, module where it's actually going to help with shading, module, mi module mismatch, or, um, you know, opposite facing roof planes and things of that nature. So again, with Solark, they've been in the, in the business 10 years. They've got a proven track record. Um, you know, they're trusted, they're well-known, they've been around the block. With EG4, they've only been in business four years, which in the solar industry, I mean, you know, that's four years, that's longer than, than some people out there, but that's relatively new. So. Um, you know, I'd say Solark's got them beat in that category. With, uh, with cost, that's where EG4 really shines. So just a standard Solark 15K, 
at the time of this video is $2,000 more expensive than an EG4 18KPV. Solark also comes with that option for EMP hardening, something that a lot of people really are interested in, especially the more prepper-like crowd. And, uh, but, but that would add an additional 2,000 watts on top of that two additional. So you're talking a, an EMP protected Solark is about $4,000 more expensive than your off the shelf EG418 KPV. Now I say EG4 does not have EMP hardening. Um, at the time of this video, I've done a little bit of research. It does look like, you know, EMP Shield is a manufacturer that uh, manufactures products for EMP protection, but I have not seen quite the products that, that come with that Solark EMP hardening feature. Um, in, in, in the case of EG4, you know, it's just the one unit um, or, or, you know, you could have a unit for DC or AC. Um, they don't have all the iron core um, units that go up on the leads to the modules. Another thing, Solark's got this load controller. Um, and for, for people that aren't aware, a load controller is a great feature to where you can, uh, you know, if your, your solar and batteries can't quite back up your whole home, maybe you've got some large loads uh, that if they kick on at the same time, they might cause a microgrid collapse and cause your power to go out because the solar and battery just don't have enough juice to handle those loads. Um, that's where load controllers are coming into play lately. Uh, so what a load controller can do is when the grid goes out, it can automatically shed your non-critical uh, loads so that during the power outage, things like a heat pump or an oven or, you know, a, a whatever the case may be, will not be coming on and causing a microgrid collapse or, or something that just constantly runs that might eat up power like a pool pump, right? You don't want to waste your batteries running a pool pump during an outage. So something like a load controller is a nice feature. When the power goes out, it sheds those non-critical loads and, and allows the system to operate more seamlessly and, and saves your batteries for those critical loads. Now that is without having to install a separate critical loads panel. Uh, now with EG4, as of today, they don't offer any kind of load controller. So if you did want to go partial home backup, you would need to separate your non-critical loads and your critical loads into a main service panel and critical load sub panel. So in conclusion, both the EG4 18K PV and the Solark 15K are, are impressive options if you're in the market for solar with battery backup. Now, if you're, you're looking for affordability and maybe a little more design flexibility with a large PV array, EG4 might be the better option for you. If you're looking for a proven track record, 10 years in the industry, first in class technical support, maybe you've got a large AC coupled system that you're going to need to uh, input to the, the Solark. Uh, maybe you're wanting that EMP hardening. If you're more of a prepper crowd, uh, maybe you need a load controller to, to kind of automatically shed loads. You know, any of those options are going to steer you a little more to that Solark 15K. Me personally, I'm in the market for one of these two inverters this year. I'm going to be installing solar on my home here, and I, I can't quite make up my mind. So um, if there's anything I missed or any opinions that you all have out there, do me a favor, leave a comment down in the description and I'd be happy to consider, look in, reply, any questions you might have. Um, if you have any experience uh, with, with either of these inverters or, or you have any opinions, please just let me know. Um, if you want to support the channel, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, press the notification bell. And if you're in the market for DIY solar products, go down in the description below use our affiliate links at no additional cost to you. At the time of this video, I'm trying to negotiate some deals for my viewers. So by the time you watch this, by clicking on those links down in the description below, you may be able to get uh, a deal or a discount by using my affiliate links. 
If you're really not a do-it-yourselfer and, and you're more looking for someone to put solar on your home, go down in the description below, click on that Rocky Broad solar intake form and fill out some details about your specific scenario. And I'll get back to you within a few days with a pressure-free, zero-cost quote to put solar on your home. Again, thanks so much, everyone, for your time. Until next time, take care.